Hey, everybody, good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, how are you guys? Thank you for joining. Fine. All right. Uh, well, how was your vacation, by the way? How was your vacation? Did you have a great time? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All fine, All thank right. you. And you? Excellent. Well, no bad. Yeah, I enjoy it. Thank you for asking. What about the rest? You spend time with your families? Do you go out? Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, like I said before, uh, well, I was texting you. Uh, I was typing in the chat. I hope you could have a great, you know, vacation in this case. And yeah, the most important thing in this case, uh, relax. Relax on the that vacation ride and spend time with your families. And of course, we need to stay safe, right? Okay, uh, we're going to start because it's one o'clock. I will pass the tennis first. And then I'm going to introduce the topic for today, right? Okay, we're gonna go one by one as soon as you listen to your names. Remember, just say present or here I am. Let's begin. Madame Patrice. Present. Alexander, thank you. Present, teacher. Thanks. Ana Silvia. Present. Perfect. Carolina. Present, teacher. Good. Claudia, Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Claudia Lisette. Claudia Lisette. Carlos Jose. Talia. Present teacher. Thank you. Dora Alicia. Present teacher. Thank you, Enrique. Hazel. Present. Thanks. Jeremias. Present. Thank you, Jeremias. Joana. Present, teacher. Good. Jose Mario. Jose Mario. Kenya. Present, teacher. Good. Lady. Present. Good. Liliana. Diana Amelia. Marina Sanabria. Marina. Ricardo Albino. Sandra. Present teacher. Thanks. Sorry. Present teacher. Very good. Sorry, yeah. Present teacher. Okay. Stephanie Isabel. Stephanie. Vanessa. Present teacher. Thank you. Susana. Present teacher. Very good. Tatiana. Present teacher. Leonel. Laura. Present teacher. All right. Hey, Alba. Alba, Eric Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Michelle. And Edgar. Okay, he's not yet. Okay, uh, well, everybody, welcome, welcome back. Good afternoon. It's nice meeting you. This is class number um, 11. Let me display the presentation. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay, if, well, we're going to restart the classes, right? Remember that uh, last, well, one week ago, we were uh, working on the third week in the section number four, right? We continue, we continue because we haven't finished with that last section which is section number four, right? 
So we continue today and we finish tomorrow with the better week. All right. Recordemos, la una semana antes de irnos a vacaciones estaba comentando. Thank you, Liliana. Welcome back. Good afternoon. ¿Quién más se ha unido, por cierto, en un momento, además de Liliana? Más? Me comentan, por favor. Está cortado directamente desde el micrófono. Y les comentaba, a una semana antes de ir de vacación, ¿verdad? Les había dicho acerca de las, de las semanas, cómo vamos, las secciones, y pues hacer nuevamente la invitación ¿verdad? de ir completando la plataforma. Probablemente el Debería decir, la mayoría ya completó. Los que estemos pendientes, seguir trabajando. Veamos al día, ¿verdad? Sé que algunos van a, eh, al día con, con las, las secciones, con las actividades. Eh, pues siempre motivarlos y animarlos a seguir adelante, eh, practicando y pues completar la plataforma. En ese 80%, más de ese 80%, no menos para poder pues seguir teniendo el beneficio de caso de la beca, ¿verdad? Así es que siempre animarlos, sigan adelante y no olvidemos también que ese, esa, esa semana, lunes y martes específicamente, terminamos la semana 3. Es que el próximo, ese próximo miércoles iniciamos la semana 4, o sea, la última. Y terminaríamos la próxima semana. Es que para que ustedes tengan en mente y no se les olvide que en un par de días pues, terminamos con el módulo de Pre-Intermedia One. Es que si ya terminamos la plataforma, excelente, los felicito. Los que estemos pendientes, todavía hay tiempo, no se, no se preocupen, pero sí hacer ese recordatorio y pues que ustedes puedan seguir completando. Se les va a hacer los, los laboratorios, eh, las diferentes medios de comunicación, digamos así, WhatsApp, etcétera, acá mis, acá en las clases también, para que ustedes puedan seguir trabajando de esta manera. Cualquier cosa, siempre estamos a la orden. Algunos nos hubieran consultado durante bueno, la semana pasada, no hay ningún, les decía yo, voy a estar disponible, con gusto se les va a atender, a veces les estoy dando apoyo, ¿verdad? Vamos a seguir y igual, si no tienen dudas o preguntas, o tienen alguna duda ahorita, alguna pregunta, no pueden, la pueden hacer acá con gusto. Si hay una pregunta, algún inconveniente. Y welcome back, José Mario, thank you. Good afternoon. How are you? Anybody else is here uh, besides Liliana? So, Jose Mario, yes. I think no. Okay, any questions? Preguntas? Alguna duda? Alguna inquietud? No question, teacher. Yeah. No, teacher. Ya resolví. No, teacher. Excelente. Bueno, también espero hayan tenido una bonita vacación, hayan podido descansar, eh, hayan seguido practicando, por supuesto, también es muy importante la práctica, no se les olvide, no dejar de practicar. Eh, ok, José Mario, no worries, I understand, thank you. Eh, y no olvidemos, eso sí, algo muy importante, estar siempre en sintonía. Si se nos eh, da alguna emergencia o no sé, algo, otra opción, espero no sea alguna emergencia, ¿verdad? Espero eso. Pero si hay algún otro inconveniente, no se preocupen. Eso sí, mantenerse siempre en sintonía, ver la grabación, ver el video. Siempre se está subiendo al canal de YouTube, ¿verdad? Así es que para estar siempre en sintonía y que todos estemos en el mismo canal, ¿verdad? Es que no se nos olvide. Y bueno, repitiendo, espero que hayan descansado, ¿verdad? Por supuesto, y hayan disfrutado sus vacaciones. Eh, seguimos, 
seguimos, no lo no hemos culminado, ¿verdad? Nos hace falta contenidos y pues una semana y media, se podría decir, que nos hace falta para terminar el módulo en sí. Que vamos a seguir, si hay dudas, preguntas en el camino, pues me pueden ir diciendo, no tengan pena, no tengan eh, miedo a preguntarme, ¿verdad? Eh, y pues seguimos, no sé si hay preguntas, comentarios, dudas. No, dicho. No, question. Ok, thank no, you. Sí, I can see somebody else in the meeting. No, oh, okay. Let's continue. Well, this is class number 11. Today is Monday, August 9th, right? 2021. This is the topic for today. We're gonna have, we're gonna practice with a conversation and we will have in mind invitations, an invitation, right? Very good. So I'm gonna give you some vocabulary, some expressions that we use when we want to make invitations. That is the first thing, you make invitations, right? Or somebody else makes invitations. That is the first thing you need to have in mind. Making invitations. Okay, so you can make invitations. Another person makes invitation, an invitation. But if you want to respond to those invitations, you can accept. Accepting, accepting invitations. Or you can refuse using invitations, right? So you decline, you decline those invitations. Okay, we're gonna focus on this today and we're going to use those expressions, uh, those phrases in a real life setting. Okay, making invitations, accepting invitations, refusing invitations. At the same time, we're going to use questions, right? We will use questions with uh, the simple person, right? We'll be use WH questions. We'll be just questions. Okay, we do we do or dance right as we saw in the previous classes. Okay, welcome back, Michelle. Good afternoon. How are you, Michelle? Hello, hello. Oh, welcome. Thank you. How's, how's everything? Everything is good. I'm I'm a little late. Oh, okay, no worries. It's nice to have you here and we are starting. Yeah, this is the topic for today, right? Conversation okay. and invitation, class number 11. And like I said before, everybody, I hope you could enjoy your vacation. You could relax, right? And yeah, we keep on, we keep on. This is what we have for today. And I was staying for to join us and I think you listen to us, right? Uh, today we will see, we will learn some expressions that we can use when we want to make invitations, uh, we want to accept those invitations, or we want to refuse those invitations, okay? So let me move on. Okay, as you can see here, we have some ways we can make invitations, right? Okay. So first, we have this column. In this column, we have invitations. Those are some ways you can make invitations, right? You use questions, you use other expressions, right? We have different possibilities, different possibilities. And then in the second column, we have some ways we can accept invitations, all right? So you say yes, better. Or you have other ways to refuse or decline invitations. In this case, you say no, right? No, or I can't, so it can be, right? But here we have some ways. We're gonna go one by one, and we will see some different forms, right? 
Okay, so let's begin with invitations. If you want to make invitations, as you can see, you have different ways. You can say, will, will, will you join me for coffee? Will you join me for coffee? That's the first way. That's an invitation, right? I'm inviting someone to, to go and, and, you know, drink some coffee. So you can say, I love to, or thank and thanks, right? That is one expression that you want to accept an invitation, right? I love to, uh, thanks, all right? When you have these uh, contractions, talking about accept, accepting invitations, when you have this, I love to, this equals, I would love to. Okay, I would love to. So here you're accepting the invitation. You're saying yes, but in another way, right? I love to. This is the contraction. I would. I would love to. Also, the times we use contractions, right? If you're speaking, if you're having a conversation, you use contractions. Okay, will you join me for coffee? I love to. Thanks. You're accepting the invitation, but if you want to refuse the invitation, of course you have different ways. But one way can be like, sorry, I'm afraid I don't have time. Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have time. So in that case, you're declining the invitation. So you say no. I mean, you can't. You can't. Why? Because you don't have time. Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have time. That is the first possibility, right? Those are some expressions. Another example can be like, I'm going out for a bite to eat. Would you, would you like to join me? Would you like to join me? So this is a request. This is a request because you're making an invitation. Would you like to join me? So you say first a statement, right? The statement is I'm going out for a bite to eat, that is a, the statement that you're, you're saying, right? And then you said the, the invitation or you made the request. Would you like to join me? Some ways to accept, in this case, a way to accept the invitation can be like, I'd be happy too, thanks. I'd be happy too, thanks. Or if you want to decline, you can say, sorry, I'm meeting a friend for lunch. I don't know, probably you have another plan or another situation, that's why you're unable to, to do it, okay? Sorry, I'm meeting a friend for lunch. Sorry, I'm going to a meeting now. Sorry, I'm helping my mother with something, I don't know, okay? Second, another possibility can be like, could we have lunch together one day? Could we have a lunch together one day? That is another invitation, right? That is another request. You can, you can accept, you can say, with pleasure, with pleasure. Or you can refuse, you can say, I love to, but I'm very busy at the moment. Okay, that's another one. Um, we, we tend to use this, uh, you know, expressions, these constructions. Uh, when you make an invitation, sorry. Attempt to use, would you like, would you like to, plus infinitive. Uh, we tend to use could, could you. If you want to make a request, or in this case, an invitation, right? So we use those forms. Those are requests, right? And you make an invitation. Would you like to join me? Would you like to go to the party with me? Uh, could you help me with this? Uh, could you go to, I don't know, to a restaurant with me? But you're making invitations. You make requests at the same time. Use it. Would you? Would you like to? Could you? Et cetera. We have more. But these are some ways you can make requests. Most of the times we, Create some invitations, right? Okay, another one. 
Let's go with number four. Would you like to come to the cinema with me tonight? That is another invitation. And as you can see, we're using would you like to. Would you like to plus infinitive. Would you like to come to the cinema with me tonight? Some ways to accept or refuse can be like, sure, I love to. Sure, I love to. Or if you want to decline that, you can say, sorry, I can't. I got all the plans. I've got all the plans. Okay. Uh, let me ask you something. Uh, any doubts over here? So far, so good. Questions? No, teacher, no questions. Okay. Let's continue, let's go with another way, another way to make an invitation, you accept or you can refuse. Uh, we have this, uh, we're all going to watch the parade later on. Care to join us, care to join us. That's another one, right? So this is an invitation, you can accept, you can say, sure, good idea, sure, good idea. Or you can say, nice of you to ask me, but in this case you decline right that invitation. Nice of you to ask me, but I got an appointment or I got uh, a meeting, et cetera. So it depends the situation that you have, right? That's the way you can respond or react to that invitation. Another one, we're having a party next week. Next weekend, sorry. Would you like to come? That is the invitation, right? Would you like to come? Would you like to join us? I love two things. You are accepting that case, right? But if you want to refuse, you can say, eh, what a pity, what a pity. I'm away next weekend. I'm away next weekend. So that is a way to refuse, right? What a pity. I'm away next week. Another one, how about coming to the barbecue at the tennis club? How about, how about coming to the barbecue at the tennis club? Teacher. Uh, yes, tell me. Uh, what does mean pity? Pity. It's like, mm -hmm. eh, que pena, right? Que pena, pero soy fuera. La próxima, the próximo fin de semana. What a pity. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, other ways, other ways to make invitations is like, how about, how about, and then we have, this is accompanied by a verb in ing form. Okay, and we continue with. The request, in this case, you, you're making an invitation. How about, uh, what? Going to the party tonight. How about going to the party tonight? That is a request, or we make an invitation, right? What, how about, or it can be like, what about? It can be like, what about? Or you can say, how about? So both are correct. Both are, the, I mean, they are the same and both are correct. What about going to the party tonight or how about going to the party tonight? They are the same. Okay, so the example was, how about coming to the barbecue here at the tennis club? So the way you can accept this is like, sure, that should be fun, sure. That should be fine. This is another way to respond, to react. You're accepting. Or you can refuse. You can say, sounds great, but I'm afraid I'm not free. Sounds great, but I'm afraid I'm not free. Okay, so you're declining that invitation. Another one, I got two tickets for a concert on Friday. Would you? Would you like to come? Would you like to come with me? 
Super, I love to. Super, I love to. That is an expression for accepting, right? But on the other hand, we have refusing. You can say, hey, I'm tied up on Friday. Sorry. I'm tied up on Friday. Sorry. Okay. Another one. We can say, how about a game of tennis at the weekend? At the weekend. So you're making, again, an invitation in there. That is an invitation. So a way you can, a way you can uh, accept that invitation is, yes, I like that. Yes, I like that. Or in other ways, in other words, when we say this, I like that, equals, I will like that. Remember that, that is a contraction. I will like that. Okay, so you're, again, you're accepting. You're accepting the invitation. But if you want to, again, refuse, you can say, sorry, maybe some other time. That's another way. Uh, we have another one, the last one. Would you like to play a round of golf this weekend? That will be great. Is Saturday okay? So you accept. You accept. If you decline, you can say, I like to, but I'm not free this weekend. All right? Yeah. So these are some ways, guys, we can we can make invitations. You know, that, that is different. You make an invitation. But another person, another person is going to accept that invitation, right? Or vice versa. Someone makes you an invitation, so you accept or you refuse. So it depends on your time, it depends on your situation, etc. Right? So this is the vocabulary for, for today, right? I'm giving you different ways you can make those invitations, you can accept, you can refuse. I would like to know if you have any questions so far. Any questions? Tied, teacher. What does mean tied? Ah, tied up. Okay. Yeah, type up. Uh, type up, it means like you have plans. You already have plans. In that context, right? In that context, it says, hey, I'm type up. I'm type up on Friday. Sorry. So this means that you already, you already had regard plans. So you have other plans on that day, so you can't. That is type up. ¿Estás listo para el viernes? Mm, no, 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 not, not exactly that. Busy. Like busy. Like busy, exactly, like busy. Busy or busy? Busy. Busy. Mm. But you're okay. attached. You're attached. Busy. I will, I will say busy. That is the most appropriate word. Ocupado. Yes, exactly. But you have, in this case, you have plans, right? You have plans. Mm. Yes. Oh, it's como que vas a estar libre para el viernes. Yeah, in this case, because listen, uh, the, the invitation was this. So imagine that I tell you this. I tell you, um, I got two tickets for a concert on Friday. Would you like to come with me? And you say, uh, I'm tied up. I'm tied up on Friday, sorry. So it means that you're busy on, for that day. No, DJ, no le entiendo. Quiere decir que ya está como... Ya sabe usted. Exactly. 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 Ya tiene planes, ya tiene planes para el viernes en su centro, entonces no, no puede, no puede acompañarme. Ah, Esa es una expresión que se usa, como para decir busy, ocupado. 
Pues ya tengo agendado algo para ese día. ¿Perdón? Eh, es, lo, es lo mismo. Bici con toda esa expresión. Mm, it can be. It can be. So that's another way to say that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else questions? No, teacher, no question. Okay. Teacher, entonces cuando se está preguntando, no podemos ocupar para I like o, o me gustaría salir, sino que tenemos que decir o oh, sure o I love o eh, cuál sería el otro. Espérame que ya se me fue la idea. O oh, sí, estaría bien. I, I, I like to. Yeah, you can say I like to. Oh, okay. Thanks, teacher. Or you can say I love to. So it depends. Yeah, you can. Sería correcto que dijéramos I love it. I love it. No. I love it. I love it. No. Like this? Uh huh. It? Can be. Yeah. Ah, okay. Thanks, teacher. Or if you want to use like this, I love it. Teacher, I love it. Cuando utilizo el good, es como más formalita la pregunta, ¿verdad? Would, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. would like to. Would muy like educado, to. Una persona muy educada, algo así, ¿verdad? Exactly. You're polite. Polite. Yes, polite, yes. This is more formal. More formal or polite. And you are polite. Would you like to come with me? Because if you say, and it is correct, if you say, do you want? Do you want? Yes, it's the same. Do you want to? Do you want to go to the party with me? If that is correct. Yeah, it's correct. But this is informal. Yes, yes. Formal. Yes. And depending on the context, you, you, you have to use the appropriate word, right? Yeah. Very good. This could be another sure. way to make an invitation, right? Do you want to go with me? If you're talking, of, if you're talking to your friend, you can say that. Do you want to go with me? Okay. But if you're talking to another person, probably that, someone that you didn't know very well, so you can say, would you like to come with me? So that is more formal. Uh, yes, what's a t-shirt? You're welcome. Hey, how do you say, no tengo ganas de salir? Oh, okay. You can say like, um, Good question. I don't want to go, you can say. I don't want to go. Sencillo. Yeah. Teacher. Yes. And I have a question. And in this in this example, I can use uh, sometimes may. Oh, may, 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 yes, yeah. Uh, um, you tell you, you can use uh, the models, models, model verse. They tend to be like the model verse. We, we tend to use them in, in, in this kind of request, or you want to make invitations, yeah. For example, could, may, my. And we can use wood, which is the one that we're using right now. Wood, we can use, a, let me see another one. We tend to use a wheel as well, but wheel is not a model, right? We tend to use wheel. Yeah, you can use may. A like, you know, like may I help you? I help you. So you're making an invitation. I mean, you're making a request. That can be an invitation, right? May I help you? Well, you can yeah. use it. But might, might is not, it's not common to use it in questions. No. Yeah. Probably may, just may. Because my no, it's not common to say it in questions. So we don't, we don't use it in questions, my. Teacher, uh, what is a different may and can? They are the same. They are the same. May and my are the same. May and might. No, no, may and can. Oh, may and can. Okay. Yeah, the difference is that may, may is more formal. It's formal 
and can is informal. What is the difference? Uh, but they are the same. Y es la misma acción, teacher. Y yes, for example, when you say, imagine that we, we are in a classroom. We're in, we in a classroom and somebody comes to the classroom late. So that person wants to enter the classroom, right? So you can say like, hey, teacher, may I come in? Uh -huh, may I yeah, come yeah. in? So this is more fun. But if you say, can I come in? I mean. Es que yo vi un, um, bueno, leí un, un video que Ken es como, pero no sé, no me quedó muy claro que como que Ken es de poder. O sea, si yo no me yeah. puedo mover. It depends, it depends on the use. Yeah, Ken has different uses. Ken is for abilities, Ajá, la, uh, eh, for possibilities, eh, for permission. Etc. A may is more for requests, for requests. So you cannot use it for like for abilities, for example. It, it can is for abilities. Like, can I swim? Can you swim? Sorry. You cannot say may I may you may you swim because that is incorrect. You cannot say may you swim. No, it's a incorrect. We say can you swim? This we use can for abilities, possibilities or permission. Okay. In May is more for requests. Okay. Thank yes. you. You're Thank welcome. You. Okay, we will see an example, an example of a conversation. And I will listen to you. I will listen to you in the conversation. Let me show you. What I want to do here, I need you to look at the conversation. Uh, we're going to identify some possible expressions, phrases, etc., that we can use when someone is making an invitation or you want to make an invitation, right? So you can use those expressions. And of course, your friend, let's say a classmate, let's say a family member, that person is going to accept or refuse your invitation. Let me give you an example. So here we have Dave and we have Susan, okay? Dave is making an invitation, okay? So she, he is inviting Susan to do something, right? We're going to identify those possible expressions in the conversation, the ones that I gave you before. We're going to identify this in the conversation. Okay, first, please listen to me. Listen to me, and then I'm going to request some volunteers. All right? Let's go on the camera three. Remember the conversations between Dave and Susan. They are making, or in this case specifically, they, Dave is making the invitation. And Susan is going to react to that invitation. He's going to, she's going to say yes or no, right? Let's go on the camera three. Listen to me first. Solo attendee volunteers. Si, I am here. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. But just give me a second. I'm going to perform the conversation first. And then I'm going to listen to you first. Okay, let's go on the camera three. One, two, three. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? at eight, that sounds great. So do you do you want to have dinner at six? Um, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay. First, listen, before to listen to you, what I want to do, I need you to identify those possible uh, expressions, phrases for making invitations, accepting or refusing. Uh, what is the invitation that they made? What is the invitation? Would you like to go? Would you like to go? Yeah. So he stated, he stated, I have tickets 
soccer match on Friday night, right? That is the same, yeah. And then he said, would you like to go? That is the invitation, right? Uh, what did Susan say? What, what did Susan say? Did she say yes or no? Yes. For that invitation? Yes. yes, right? I love to. Yeah, thanks. I love to. That is an expression for accepting. So he, she is accepting the invitation. Thanks, I love to. So what happened next? What happened next? She asked, what time does it start? What time does the soccer match start? And they said, at eight, eight right? At eight. What happened next? What happened next? So Susan, Susan made an invitation. What is the invitation that Susan made? Do you he want to have me. dinner? Have at dinner. School? Exactly. Do you I want to? Teacher, I have yes. a question. Before. Yes. Susan, use. Uh, do you want? It's yeah. Because it's more. It's more. How do I say it? Menos formal, less formal. Informal. Yeah. Yeah, in this case, it, it depends on the context, right? It depends on the context. So let's say that Dave and Susan are close friends. They are close friends. Son bien unidos, son am eh, eh, amigos yeah, de Carlos. Yes, with Wolf, if they are close, if they are close friends, he asks her with Wolf. That's can be, normal. can be, can be. Would you like to have dinner? At six. So uh, let's imagine that, you know, uh, Dave is trying to, I don't know, to, to get a relationship with Susan, let's say in that way. Uh, and they are, they are going to have the first date, first date. So Dave, or in this case, Dave, let's say Dave, they, has to make an invitation and he has to be polite, right? Would you like to have dinner with at six, Susan? So yes, in that case, we can use would like to, right? But if you want to use would like to, you can do it because it's more formal. But in this, in this case, Dave and Susan are friends and they have that confidence. It's a confianza of that. So if, depending on the context, you can use would you like to. But if you want to use the U1, it's okay. It is informal, but you can use it. So in this case, in this case, Susan and Dave are friends and they have that confidence. That's why Susan is using do you want? You can use it. And that's for invitation. So you want to have dinner at six? That is the invitation that Susan is making. And what is the response? What is the response that they gave to gave Susan? I Did like you say to. no or yes? I like yes. to? Pero, no. No. No, pero tiene que hacer, tiene que trabajar hasta tarde. Work late. Exactly. So, did she say yes or no? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah. It could be maybe, right? 50-50. But yes. in this case, yeah, he said no. Because, yeah, he have to work. He has to work late. Exactly. So that's the expression. That's the way he reacts to that invitation. He say, I like to, I mean, as we say, maybe, right? Maybe, but he has to work late. So he said, no, right? That's why then Susan said, oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7, 7.30. Okay. So that's the way we make invitations. We react, we say yes, or we say no. We accept or we refuse. Okay. Any questions, guys, over here? That's very good. Very good. Anybody else? Okay. Okay. Uh, oops. I will have volunteers. Okay. I will have volunteers for the conversation. Please uh, raise Me your hands. Teacher. I have. Very good. Teacher. I will go with the Jeremias. Very Me good. Too, teacher. 
Okay, can you raise your hand, please? Because I'm going to start with Jeremias and Liliana. Levantame nuestro hermano, please. Los hermanos que me dijeron, me, me, I want to participate. Okay, I'm going to go with Jeremias and Liliana first. Jeremias will be Dave. Liliana, you will be Susan. Okay. Let's go on the camera, please. Have... Let's begin, let's begin, sorry. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'll go too. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fun. See you there. Yeah, very good. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Let me see. Uh, let's continue with Dora and Soraya. Please give me a hand. Dora, you'll be Dave. Soraya will be Susan. Let's go on the camera three. One, two, three. I have a ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have diner at six? Oh, I would like to, but I had to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's let's just meet at the stadium before the match around seven thirty. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That's on fine. See you there. Yeah, very good, Dora and Soraya. Okay, I will go with Claudia, Elizabeth, and Alex. Then I will have Eric and another person. Okay, uh, Alex, you will be Dave. Claudia, you are Susan. <laughs> go ahead, Alex, let's begin. I have a ticket to the second match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before to match a row seven, 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, let me see. I have more volunteers. Good. I will continue with Eric and Kenya. All right, Eric, you will be Dave. Please help me up. And Kenya, you are Susan. Go okay. ahead, Eric. Let's begin. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like? Good, good, you like to go? Thanks, I love it. I love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around Seeds. Harry? Seven uh, Harry? Okay, let's meet at the gate. That's on fine. See you there. Yes, perfect. Thank you. Okay, uh let me see. Well, Edgar is here. Sorry, by the way, Enrique. Uh, good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. How are you guys? Welcome back. Thank you. Everything okay? You got it? Yep, everything is right. Good, good. Hey, Enrique, what about you? I've been talking. I don't know oh. who, is, oh. who else is there. 
I'm sorry. I, I thought it was a uh, Edgar. Edgar, can you listen to me? I'm sorry. Okay. Could you listen to all the explanations, Enrique and Edgar, about what we have here? Uh, some ways to make invitations, accepting invitations, and refusing invitations. Uh, yeah, I've been here since three minutes ago. Oh, I see. All right, uh, just let me brief, brief a little bit what we have done so far. Uh, right now we're having this, invitations, right? Invitations. And the, these are some ways you can make invitations. You can accept those invitations. You can say yes, right? Yes. I would like to, etc. And there are some ways you can refuse those invitations. In other words, you say no. Okay. Here we have some ways you can make invitations, for example, so you can follow. These are some ways, some responses. You say yes, you can accept, right? You accept that invitation. When you say no, it's because you refuse or you decline. So these are some ways. We were we were discussing these uh, ways or expressions one by one, you can, as you can see. And we have an, an example of a conversation. So we're having these expressions here. I think I will share this in the chat. I think I can, I can share this in the chat. Let me see. Oops. One second. Okay, I'm going to try to share this in the in the WhatsApp group because I can't hear. Um, but yeah, this is what we have done so far. And you can Edgar, please let me know if you have any questions. You know, we have different ways. Like uh, most of the times, most of the times we use uh, this construction, right? Would you like to? And this is accompanied by an infinitive. Would you like to have dinner at six? So that is an invitation. You can refuse or you can accept that invitation that someone is, you know, making, right? Or you can say, do you want? It's okay. Uh, when you say, do you want? This is another way to say, would you like? Or vice versa. Do you want equals would you like to? The difference is that we like to is more formal. More formal. And this is informal. Okay, but those are some ways we can make invitations and we can accept or we can refuse. So let me know if you have any questions. Enrique or Edgar, I'm checking the, the chat. You just said that you have some issues. Hágame saber si preguntas. Edgar and Enrique, en el caso que tengan dificultades con internet, como me comenta Edgar ahorita, te voy a recomendar que Que veamos la grabación en ese caso, porque ya tenemos solo un par de minutos. Trata la manera de reforzar un poquito ahorita para que ustedes estén en sintonía, ¿verdad? Pero sí les voy a recomendar que veamos el video, no se preocupen. Eh, cualquier cosa, estamos a la, siempre a la orden, recuerden. Si tienen preguntas, dudas acerca de, de lo que vamos a estar discutiendo, de cómo vamos a hablar o aprender, solo me dicen. Excellent, Edgar. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Eh, igual, le repito, Edgar, en, su, en el caso de C, en el caso de Enrique, si se, se perdieron parte de la clase, ¿verdad? Igual, estoy reforzando ahorita, pero les recomiendo que veamos la grabación igual, para reforzar un poquito más. Okay? And we're having the conversation. This is an example of a real life setting. So we were listening to some ex, some classmates with a conversation. This is between Dave and Susan. Dave is making an invitation, an invitation. Uh, Susan is reacting to that invitation. Then Susan was making an invitation and Dave was reacting to that, right? So they, they were making invitations, right? Okay, so I will have more volunteers for the conversation. Please raise your hands. Who wants to participate?
let's see, I'm going to select some participants. I'm going to go with a Hazel. Can you help me, please? And I will select Adam. Hazel and Adam. Okay, teacher. Here. Uh, Hazel, you'll be Susan. Adam, you'll be Dave. Are you ready? Okay. Let's go, Adam. Let's begin. I have ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love it to. What time does it start? At A. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like to, but I have to go late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7 30. Okay, let's meet all the gate, at the gate. <clears throat> that sounds fine. See you there. Yes, okay. very good. Thank you, guys. All right, um, I will listen to Lady and Katiana. Can you help me? Katiana. Yes. Okay, Katiana, you will be Dave. Lady, you are Susan. Let's go on the camera three. One, two, three. I have a ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Ready? 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 Okay, um, I will listen to Edgar. Edgar? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, help me up. I think Lady is having some issues. We're going to work for her. Edgar, you're going to prefer the conversation with Katiana. We're going to make some okay. changes, okay? Oh, let's continue like this. Uh, Katiana, uh, you'll be Dave. Edgar, you'll be Susan. Let's go on that way. No worries. Okay, okay. No problem. Let's go again, Katiana. One, I two, three. I have a ticket to the supermarket. Would you like to go? Uh, thanks. Uh, it love to what time does it start? At A. Uh, that sounds great. So do you want to have a dinner at six? Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's, that's okay. Let's just meet at, at, at the studio, at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let me at the gate. That's on five. See you there. Perfect. A bit for me, Edgar. Stadium. Stadium. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thanks. Thank Anytime. Listen, to, uh, I'm checking the chat because Edgar is typing there, was typing there, uh, related to the channel right on YouTube. Y recuerden, y pues ahí Sandra estaba, me estaba ayudando con él. Ya comentó él, busque el link del correo que nos notifican que enviaron contraseña. De alguna forma, ahí aparece en YouTube. Exacto. En el, el correo que se les envió antes de iniciar el módulo, recuerden, ahí se les envía toda la información. Ahí están los enlaces. Ya sea por el canal de YouTube, para WhatsApp, grupo de WhatsApp, eh, ahí se encuentran esos links. ¿Okay? Edgar, una pregunta: ¿se sale en el grupo de WhatsApp? Yes, teacher. Yes, ok, muy bien. Inverirle. ¿Perdón? Yo no he recibido el correo. ¿Oh, really? Yeah. Eh, yo tampoco he recibido el correo, solo me dijeron de que cuando terminara 100% de la plataforma, me van a mandar el correo para la inscripción del siguiente módulo, pero yo la terminé la semana pasada, creo, pero no he recibido el correo todavía. Sí, sí, ok, bueno, perfecto. No se preocupe. 
Bueno, en ese caso, y les voy a pedir de favor que estemos pendientes para el próximo módulo. Que estemos pendientes, si no recibimos ese correo, les pido de que notifiquen, notifiquen a las autoridades, a los que nos dan soporte en ese caso, en, el, en la institución, ¿verdad? En inglés operativo, para que verifiquen eso. Probablemente tengan eh, algún dato erróneo en cuanto al correo, porque si sí se les envía a todos. Entonces, verifiquemos eso si gustan, verifiquemos eso eh, con alguna autoridad de este operativo para que nos ayuden en eso, que ustedes puedan pues, actualizar si es posible su información en cuanto a correo, porque si sí se les envía a correo, eh, pero veo que no, les ha, no recibieron ese correo. No se preocupen, vamos a hacer una cosa. Eh, creo que ya la mayoría está en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Eh, todavía hace falta tiempo, todavía nos hace falta clases. Voy a compartir el link, aunque lo compartí, me recuerdo, hace unas semanas atrás. Compartí el link del canal de YouTube. Lo voy a compartir, Edgar, eh, por WhatsApp, por YouTube, WhatsApp, para que usted pueda acceder desde ahí al canal de YouTube. Ahí en el canal de YouTube, nuestro canal de YouTube, están todos los videos, son las grabaciones de las clases anteriores incluyendo esa, ¿verdad? Que la vamos a, la voy a subir en un momento. Y para que ustedes puedan, si gustan regresar o, o ir a algún video anterior, alguna clase anterior, puedan ustedes ingresar en cualquier momento. Lo pueden hacer. Así es que voy a compartir ese link en el grupo WhatsApp. Y les pido de favor, repito, que si no recibimos el, el correo de, en este caso, en que nos notifican del módulo, nos mandan toda esa información, los enlaces para el grupo de WhatsApp para que nos unamos el enlace para los videos que se hagan al canal de YouTube para ingresar y ver los videos, eh, se les envía ahí un correo. Es que verifiquemos eso mejor para el próximo módulo, ¿verdad? Eh, aún estamos en, en ese curso, ¿verdad? Estamos en, en, en ese curso. Eh, nos hace falta una semana y media, como dije hace un momento. Y pues no se preocupen, que no han recibido correo de, para la inscripción del siguiente módulo, o si se les dijo alguna fecha en específica, eh, no dudemos en consultar, repito, alguna autoridad de inglés operativo. Una autoridad de inglés operativo, para que nos ayuden con eso. Dígame. Yo en realidad recuerdo de que me habían mandado el correo que me, que me decían de que me inscribieran el siguiente módulo. Me mandaron como el link, ¿verdad? Pero um, yo cambié de teléfono, entonces se me borraron los chats. ¿Con quién me puedo mm. comunicar para que lo reenvíe? Exacto. Eh, comprendo. En ese caso, usted se puede, en el grupo de WhatsApp, si usted ingresa al grupo de WhatsApp, eh, nos contacte, pero los participantes que están en el grupo, ahí hay varios contactos de, de autoridades o de personal del de equipo operativo que nos pueden ayudar. Por lo general, ellos aparecen, y les menciono acá ahorita, está el caso de Elena Méndez. Tenemos a... Ellos ya están identificados ahí con su, con su foto, ¿verdad? Está Jason Bautista. Hay varios en el grupo de WhatsApp. Tenemos a... Bessie Ana, Anaya. Jonathan Guzmán. Tenemos también a Nicole Najarro, Paola Iglesias. Ellos son de soporte. Usted sí, puede eh, mensajear acá, puede textear a alguien acá para que le ayude con eso. Acá están en el mismo grupo de WhatsApp, están los participantes. Los participantes están ellos, están incluidos. No lo ingrese y contacte a cualquiera de ellos para que les pueda dar soporte en cuanto a eso. ¿Qué? ¿Hay dudas? Edgar. No, teacher, I don't. Cualquier cosa, eh, me contacta a mí si gusta, yo le puedo ayudar con eso también. En ese caso, redirigirlo o pedirle a alguien que le ayude. En inglés comparativo. Okay. Perfecto, thank you. No se eh, Kenia compartió un, un, un enlace, creo que es el enlace de. Para WhatsApp, ¿verdad, Kenia? ¿Te preguntas? ¿Preguntas? 
No, no question. Okay, okay. Uh, well, guys, we're going to start right here because it's time. Uh, this is what we get for today, right? About invitations, the way we accept those invitations, we refuse them, etc. Right, we'll continue tomorrow, guys, with uh, more contents. We're going to start right here because it's time. It's 2.05. Uh, we will continue tomorrow, like I said before. If you have any questions, just let me know. Please contact me via WhatsApp and I'm, I will help you, right? Yeah, at the same time, remember, continue working in the platform. Yeah, you have time. And yeah, next week. Próximo, digo lo siguiente. Uh, sure. Dígame. Uh, I have a question. In my case, I, I finished the, the only platform. No se preocupe, si ya completó, excelente. Felicidades. Okay, eh? perfect. Perfect. I appreciate. Si hemos completado la, la plataforma, no se preocupe. Ya estamos al día y pues, por supuesto, obtener ese 80, por, más de ese 80%. Si estamos de esa forma, si hemos completado todo, no, no tienen por qué preocuparse. Uh, lo que nos queda es pues, conectarnos a las clases y seguir con lo, con, reforzando, ¿verdad? reforzar los contenidos que vamos a ver en una sección. Uh, if I didn't complete the platform. No se, no se preocupe, to, todavía hay tiempo con respecto a eso. Lo que les comento y lo que se les, se les, siempre se les informa, ¿verdad? Acerca de, de la plataforma es que sigamos trabajando. Sigamos trabajando. Ahorita estamos en la semana 3 todavía. Mañana finalizamos la semana 3. El miércoles vamos a iniciar la última semana. Semana... Cuatro, sección 5 en la plataforma. Es que los que van al día, que van al día con los contenidos, pues hay que seguir avanzando, ¿verdad? Los que ya terminamos, no se preocupen, porque nos hace falta eh, seguirlos motivando. Sigamos trabajando en la plataforma, completando, a, a, terminar, a terminar. La próxima semana, sí, ya el próximo lunes específicamente, debe de estar todo completo. Ese día, el, el lunes de la próxima semana, vamos a hacer el penalizar. Los que vamos al día, ¿verdad? Los que ya terminamos, oh, repito, no sé. Eh, pero los que vamos al día, el próximo lunes, por lo que nos hemos atrasado, el próximo lunes, debemos de completar todo. Toda la plataforma debe estar completa. Incluyendo el penalizar, que es el último que se hace, ¿verdad? O sea, ese día tiene que estar todo completo para el martes, pues es clase normal, todos deben de conectarse, ¿verdad? Y pues se va a ver el último contenido. Esta es la información que quiero, quería compartirles antes de finalizar. Si hay dudas, preguntas, algún comentario. No, teacher. No question. No question, okay. teacher. Very nice. Okay, guys. Well, it's nice seeing you again. Thank you so much for being here. We will continue tomorrow with you know, more things. We're going to acquire more knowledge. Thank you so much for your time, your patience and participation. Have a good day. Stay safe and blessings. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thanks. Goodbye. Same to you. Same to you. Have a good day.